cooked up a juicy 101 on what you need to know before your next trip to the grocery store. With her speech entitled, GMO OMG, please welcome Allison. Labeling laws or outright bans on GMO products, the 
US FDA does not regulate GMOs and ignores the warnings of its own scientists. One possible explanation could be that the head of the FDA happens to be a former lawyer and senior VP for Monsanto. <laughs> uh, he has even gone back and forth from Monsanto jobs to government jobs on more than one occasion. To put this in perspective, vitamins are required to list their ingredients. GMOs get a free pass. Proponents of GMOs have even resorted to mafia tactics to suppress dissenting facts and voices. For example, uh, uh, objective third-party scientists who have discovered problems with GMOs have been slandered, attacked physically, fired, threatened, and denied funding. It's not all bad news. Consumers do have choices. And by choosing, by avoiding GMOs, you contribute to the coming tipping point that will force them out of the food supply. If just 5% of us reject the, in, the brands that contain them, GM ingredients will become a marketing liability and the food companies will kick them out. Heck, Europe reached the tipping point in 1999 when a GMO food safety scandal hit the papers warning, <clears throat> warning citizens of the potential dangers. People with chronic illness, parents of children with autism and food allergies, and doctors who advocate a clean, who recognize the importance of food in our clean food in our daily lives, all advocate a non-GMO diet, choose organic whenever possible, look for the non-GMO project verified label on any packaged foods you buy. Any company who cares about the livelihood of its customers in addition to the bottom line is eager to get certified, resolute in having the certification, the non-GMO project certification on their labels, and to quote Hippocrates, let food be thy medicine, and medicine be thy food. Bon appetit. Yeah.